Hello and welcome to another Block Spotlight with me, the most happy one, aka Mr. Surrett. In today's Block Spotlight, we'll be looking at the World Anchor. The World Anchor is Railcraft. It's a Railcraft recipe. It has changed a little bit from the old recipe. So I'll have a quick look at the at the recipe. Now, gold ingots in the outside corners. Obsidian in the top and bottom middle spot, diamond in the left and right middle spot, and in the middle now we need an ender pearl. Okay, what does the world anchor do? It doesn't actually have an interface to click on. The world anchor, as it suggests, it keeps an area of 3x3 chunks loaded or active, even if the player is not in the area. A chunk often get asked this one. What is a chunk? Well, a chunk is a 16 by 16 by 256 block area. So around this you go 16 by 16 and then up and down 256. Unfortunately, it's not 256 long. It's up and down 256. So that's quite a lot of blocks that we'll keep loaded. It's still, it's not going to keep a world loaded, but it should be enough for a base you can have more than one so it's not a huge issue if it's uh, if you've got a massive base the new recipe does supposedly unless disabled in the config file there is a maintenance fee to operate the anchor now that's one ender pearl roughly every 12 hours that's real well 12 hours i believe uh can't be reset by pick by destroying it and picking it up either it will remember how long so yeah you will have to either craft a new one or I don't think you can actually feed it ender pearls but it does use ender pearls now so there's a few it's not the end of it there are a couple different anchors that you can make or actually there's only two you can make but there's three items as part of the world anchor the next one I'll look at is the anchor cart now that's just a world anchor and a minecart. Minecart nice and easy, just iron as if you're making a boat. So the the anchor cart works pretty much the same way except it is in a cart which means you can attach it to uh, other carts or a tunnel bore and that way if the carts or the bore move too far away they will stay loaded and they will keep going, they'll keep operating very useful. Now the one other I shall sh first of all I'll show you if you go into options controls and it will scroll down Railcraft Anchor Aura now I've set mine to the decimal to full stop just because in the pack that I'm using the default was M which is also used for mode and for map so I've changed mine to decimal but you'll have to change it to whatever you want I think the default uh, often is F9 I'm not too sure why mine was M F9 is also my record key so but anyway if you click on that whatever you've got it set to you used to get a grid you now get these sort of ender pink flying things getting sucked into it now that's the area that's loaded so yeah hitting F9 I think is the usual default you will see what area of effect is actually being loaded by this so it's a good little area again if I want to keep this entire village loaded I would have to use a couple of them there is another way of manipulating this area though just turn it off and that is to use one of these an anchor sentinel so that's obsidian gold and an ender pearl now I've got one of them whacked down all the way over here what these do using the sentinel and a crowbar you will need a crowbar you can load a one chunk wide strip up to a nine by one so instead of it just using just loading that area over there if we put this this guy down here and go away sheep right click on him anchor sentinel pairing was initiated we click on the world anchor all the 
the way back over here. World Anchor was successfully paired. So now if we have a look at the area of effect, because we've got the cart here, it's still going to be a square down this end, but you'll notice that there is a one wide strip of chunks being loaded right the way down to here. So that can go 9 by 1, so 1 chunk wide, 16 blocks wide, 9 chunks long, 9 by 16. So yeah, that's a quick little look at the World Anchor. Very useful, especially if you're going to be running things through the nether or if you've got something like Mistcraft working and you want to keep a world loaded that way, which is exactly what we have here. Anyway, hopefully you got something from that and enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.